Hello and welcome to another martial arts news update. Today we focus on the MMA gym in York. Now don't be confused by the name as it stands for Multi Masters Academy and that's just what it is. The name speaks for itself. For the past few weeks I've been traveling and training at the MMA gym and let me tell you it's been an eye-opening experience. I had the opportunity to interview a very close friend of mine, Michael Clark, who's one of the head instructors there alongside Gaz Watkinson, who's the owner and the man behind MMA Gym. And here's what they had to say. Um, the club's been open now about five months. Um, it's, uh, it's founded by Gary Watkinson. He's the chief instructor down here. Um, he's had about 10, 15 years uh, Thai boxing experience. Um, I teach the, the kickboxing down here um, on a Thursday night. Um, it's actually like a freestyle session now where, where we just come down, a bit of a warm up, uh, just get the pads on, have a bit of a spa really. Um, it's a chance for everybody to come together and just have a good sparring session. It's just like you say, it's just a twist on the, uh, the modern saying, isn't it? Mixed martial arts, so multi masters academy. So it, 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 it caters for everybody. It's not just the, the people who want to get into the cage and have a fight, it's for everybody. It's for, you know, for the kids, the mums, everybody who wants to have a go, they can come down and have a go. It's a real good family environment. So, what gave you the idea? of inviting different fighters from different martial arts, Thai boxing, karate, what made you think of that? Well, when I first started, I've been, I've been training now about 16 years. When I first started, um, there was a gentleman called uh, Jerry Matthews, had a club in York, and it was a freestyle club, and it really was a melting pot for all different martial arts. Uh, that you had karate, kung fu, kickboxing, Thai boxing, everybody came together. And there's no attitude, there's no club politics like there is nowadays and it's a real good chance especially for myself as I was competing at the time to spar with different people so when you went to a competition it made your game a lot better you're a lot sharper and you stood out at competitions and then obviously when I went to Leeds Leeds Freestyle your gym um, it was the same thing the doors were open to everybody there's no politics and it was just brilliant and over the last few years it sort of declined a lot and I just thought what a wonderful opportunity down here now that we have, they've got fantastic facilities to invite everybody to come along and the same thing really, you know, there's no policies, no attitude, everybody can come together and do their thing and uh, obviously it's going to make you a much better rounded martial artist. So. I, mean, I, I mean, I found it very, very interesting because it's my second week now and I've yeah. really, really enjoyed it yeah. and you, as you say, you meet different people from different martial arts and you, yeah. you recognise old faces. Yeah. But yeah. what's so good about it is that you've got people from, who are masters at what they do yeah. but yet are still willing to learn yeah. new techniques yeah. and like yourself you've introduced let's say yeah. this style and yeah. the way it's fighting just tell me the attitude of the people that you know that you meet and yeah yeah well basically i mean if you if you if you practice martial arts and you think you're the be all and end all and you don't think you can learn anymore you want to try a different sport you, you're in the wrong thing martial arts you never stop learning it's a light it's a way of life okay and um my attitude is if you know come down here everybody's got something to put for you can learn off an absolute beginner you know i've seen technical champions from different martial arts come across a beginner who's ruffled them up because they just fight ever so different to their normal style and you need that you need that variety you need that you know it spices your game up and that's that's what it's all about and, and we're all willing to learn down here if you're not willing to learn i don't think you come down so well, I think as I've experienced and you've got a yeah. good bunch of guys, yeah. guys and girls, women, all along who come to learn, yeah. you know, and I say, it's just the beginning, and I say, yeah. I can see a massive future for this, and yeah. thank you very much, Michael. No, thank you. Position one, okay, that we've been working on, just to recap. Position two, yeah, three, I've got my shoulder off, transition, three, four, throw that hit. Hiya Gaz. How are you doing? Right? It's the first time I've met you and can I, just, can I just say thank you very much for inviting me down yeah, to the gym and I said I've had an excellent session today with uh, Michael and also was here last week. Now Multi Masters Academy, MMA. MMA. Yeah, <laughs> just, just tell me the reason why, I mean, what made you think of that, I mean it's, it's a pun on the MMA but I think it's an excellent name, it's, you know, you yeah. can't miss it. Tell me the reason why you, you use that. Okay. Um, I wanted to get the multi in because I'd like to think that we are a multitude of disciplines down here. Uh, you know, we do range from Thai boxing, kickboxing, um, we do obviously the MMA style. Um, so that was my idea and I, I, I wanted this short brief. I didn't want to call it an MMA gym, so uh, I, I thought of Multi Masters Academy, which for, you know, the, the abbreviation of that is, is MMA, so that, there you have it. That's excellent. <laughs> now just tell me a little bit about the gym. 
Um, so you've got a mixture of different styles of arts down here, which, is, which I find is really good, especially on the Thursday class. I understand you, te you teach the MMA side to it. I do, yeah. Just talk a little bit about that and about the gym itself. Okay. Um, the gym itself um, used to be a garage, used to be a garage, and uh, Lewis Gell from next door at the York Boxing Club, uh, I've known Lewis for many years. Uh, I've always wanted to look into opening my own gym, and he knew that this particular premise was, was coming up uh, next to the boxing club in York. So uh, we had a little chat, we spoke to the landlord, and uh, lo and behold, you know, five months uh, later, we're, 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 we're doing really well. It took me about five weeks. I was a bit like challenge Annika, Annika Rice, uh, because the, the boxing gym next door is a charity. And uh, so I kind of got all the local guys in York, um, the painters, the decorators, the plumbers, the electricians, the joiners. Um, on the, the sign behind me, I've got some sponsors. They donated uh, money. Uh, materials, MKM builders, uh, and I kind of went around everyone, got everyone rallied, and, and got most of the, the work done for free. That's excellent. Uh, and um, it took me five weeks, it took me five weeks to do it. I think it takes that challenge, Annika, 24 hours. Isn't it? <laughs> it, took, yeah. it, took me five, it took me five weeks, but the community came together. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking of doing, is opening a place where anyone could come, absolutely anyone at all could come along, and hopefully experience some uh, some fantastic fitness. I've, I've been quite fortunate. Originally, I'm from Sheffield, and I've been in York 20 years now. When I first moved to York, I met some great guys, Mike Clark, uh, Andy Wilby. Uh, I met Euclid uh, from Leeds, and uh, it was a case of once I knew I'd, I'd got the building and I knew the way that I wanted to take the business forward, then I, I just I thought there'd be no better guys than to approach the guys that I knew, uh, all fully qualified instructors in their own field. Uh, and I wanted, that's why I call it Multi-Masters Academy, because it's a multitude of different disciplines, different coaches, uh, and we are where we are today. As I said, we've been open five months now, and I thought, to be honest, that it would take me probably to the end of the year to actually get my guys fit and ready to fight. And it's taken me five months, and I'm, I'm really, really pleased. Um, I did have one of the fighters, Mark, he's been training with me for a year and one of the other uh, guys, Dean, who won, he's four months from, from not putting a pair of gloves on to winning his first uh, fight down at Leeds Cage there. Excellent. And I've also got um, Alan, who's been with me about six months previous to me opening. Uh, he's uh, fighting um, tomorrow, actually, at the uh, Combat Challenge to Bradford. When I first started training many years ago, I, I was actually encouraged to go around to, to different gyms, uh, whether you knew people or whether you didn't, just to get the variety of different styles and different body shapes and strengths and speeds. And, um, and uh, you know, I, I would say to people who wanting to come down here, to come. Your first session's free anyway. Your first, if you're a guest, your first session's free and uh, you will definitely get a variety of experience and capabilities down at Multimasters Academy in York. And there you have it from the Multimaster himself. <laughs> Guys, what can I say? Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the news update and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ed Mahoo. Until next time.